I'm smoking turkey drumsticks on my pellet grill and the flavor packed in this leg was amazing. The end result is a turkey leg that looks and tastes impressive. To make our brine, we're going to add in one gallon of vegetable broth. Turn your stove top on to around a medium high heat. Then we're gonna add in one cup of salt, a half cup of sugar, about two tablespoons of allspice, and about another two tablespoons of whole black peppercorns. Then we're gonna violently stir this all together and let it cook until all the spices dissolve into the liquid. Usually it will happen around this time when the broth starts to steam like it is right now. Give it a good stir, and then we're gonna dump this hot brine into our food safe brining bucket that is filled with ice. The ice will help to cool the brine faster. We do this because it is very unsafe to add your turkey to the brine while it is hot. If this hot brine starts to cook our turkey while we let it sit, it can make it spoil by the time we get it on the smoker. Once the brine is room temperature, I'm going to add in two oranges that are quartered and about four bay leaves for some extra flavor. Just dunk your turkey in there. We just got to make sure that it's fully covered so it sucks in as much flavor as it possibly can. You could brine this anywhere from four to eight hours, but I really wouldn't go too much past that because this is a smaller piece of meat. Now that our turkey is done brining, we have to get ready to wash the drumstick. I start this by removing everything around my sink, including all the dishes so that no turkey juices get on anything. Get a baking sheet wrapped in aluminum foil and place a wired rack over the top right next to your sink and get some paper towels ready. It's important to do this first before you have dirty hands. Now let's get our turkey out of the fridge and set it in our sink. I want to run some cold water on low to medium pressure. I do this so when the water makes contact with the turkey, it doesn't splatter everywhere. Now let's wash up this turkey for a good few minutes. When you brine anything, all the seasonings and salts get stuck on that meat and skin. So we want to rinse it off all the way so that we could wash off all of that brine off of the meat. If we don't do this, the meat could be too salty and leave a very over seasoned flavor on your turkey. Do not skip these next two steps. Once you feel like the turkey is rinsed off all the way, get some paper towels and begin to pat dry the turkey. You need to make sure the skin is 100% dried off and not sopping wet. What makes skin crispy is how high of a temperature it's cooked at and the moisture levels at the beginning of the cook. The drier we can get the skin, the more likely it'll be crispy. Once you notice your paper towels are coming out dry, we move on to the next phase of the drying process. We're gonna place this into our fridge on our wire rack to let it air chill for about two hours. Once you're air chilling the turkey, I like to take this time to clean up the mess that I made. Cooking poultry can be dangerous if you don't clean it up right. I have little toddlers that bite and lick and put everything into their mouth, so I'm a little bit overcautious. After dumping out my brine, I'm gonna get some dish soap and scrub the inside and outside of my bucket very thoroughly. Then I'll rinse it off and set it aside so I could rinse out my sink. After rinsing it out, I'll scrub the entire sink with soap and then rinse it off again and dry it off with a rag. So now that we are done cleaning, let's get back to cooking. Now that our turkey is ready to season, let's get our smoker started to 275 degrees. The first thing that I'm going to do to this turkey drumstick is I'm going to separate the skin from the meat. There's a membrane that connects the two, so if you can't pull it back with your bare hands in one go, you might have to take a knife like I am and make little incisions in the membrane. Once you have the skin pulled back, we're going to season with our Chickalicka Bam Bam Bird Rub. I want to get a heavy coat on this meat because this is our first layer of flavor. While this drumstick smokes, the skin is going to pull back a little bit and it will expose this meat, so if we don't season it, it's going to look odd. Now that you have all the meat seasoned, pull the skin back up to the top. Try to get it as high as you can and as even as you can get it. Now we're going to season the skin. We want to get good coverage, but don't need to go as heavy as we did on the meat. The rub will get us that good color we want on our drumstick and it's going to add in an extra little kick of flavor. What's up you guys? Welcome to the outside of my home where I got my smoker. We are late in November right now, so it's a little bit chilly outside. But hey, that's not going to stop me this winter from smoking or grilling. Today we are doing this massive turkey leg. I went to my local meat shop. I picked one up. Everywhere's got them right now. I want to share with you guys a few important details of why I'm doing what I'm doing in today's cook. Normally when I smoke something that's going to be on the shorter end, like a chicken, I would actually do this for about one hour on the super smoke setting, then crank it up to about 300 degrees 
degrees to get that skin nice and crispy. However, I've noticed though, when the temperatures are really cold out, like under 30, 20 degrees, like how it is right now, my super smoke setting kind of has a hard time. I've just had difficulties with it in the past. This is a new smoker, so maybe I won't have those, but I want to play it safe rather than sorry. So today I'm running 275 the whole entire time. That's still low enough to give it some time to absorb smoke, but also hot enough to get the skin nice and crispy. So for you guys at home, cook this at whatever temperature you want. It's going to turn out great no matter what. At the one hour mark, we're going to come out and do something special to get our skin even more crispy. So make sure you stick around until then. So without further ado, let's get this bad boy on. So we're going to go ahead and open up our smoker. I got it nice and clean in here for this turkey leg. I'm going to set it right in the center right here so that way it gets even smoke doesn't get any of the hot zones in the back or in the front so shut it down and i'll see you guys at the one hour mark so i said at the one hour mark you're going to come out and put something special on there to get it extra crispy well today we got butter there's nothing like putting fat on chicken or turkey to get that skin nice and crispy however this is not the one hour mark it's actually the 90 minute mark i came out at one hour and i wasn't comfortable putting it on yet because you want to make sure that that rub is set on there really good i scraped my finger across and a little bit of the rub was uh, kind of still smudging around so i wanted to give it extra time for that rub to be set on there now we are safe to put this fat on let's go ahead and open up our smoker and all i'm going to do now is i'm just going to get some butter on here and i don't want to dump it all on there i'm just getting it kind of set on here almost like a mop just kind of want to mop a little bit on the skin get it nice and crispy so now i'm going to go ahead and flip this bad boy over i want to get this other side man oh man is this looking good nice and tasty we don't really need to get the meat we just want to get the skin so we need that skin to get nice and crispy so we got a good bite through all the way over it we got a great color looking on this better than any state fair you're gonna have look good to me let's go ahead and get the shut down i'll see you guys soon we are now just a little bit past the two and a half hour mark it has been one hour since we have buttered this turkey i've already taken a couple of temperature readings right now we've been sitting at about 165 for around 10 minutes which means it's kind of in that stall phase around the 165 range we are actually going to glaze this turkey leg I took some Sweet Baby Ray's and I added some apple juice. I cooked it a little bit in the microwave and I mixed it all together. It's kind of like a sweet barbecue glaze I'm going to put on this turkey. So let's go ahead and open this up and let's get it in. If you're wondering why I have my hood on, it's like half snowing, half raining here. So just, just thought I'd let you know. So now we're going to go ahead and open up our smoker. Let's take this glaze and let's paint it on here. A nice thin little layer. You don't want to put on too much glaze. Your turkey will be really sticky and ooey and gooey. And I don't like my turkey like that. I like to just put a thin little layer of glaze on the turkey. It just adds a little bit of flavor, a little bit of that just goodness to it that we all love. And not to mention, it gives it a nice pretty little color. After it sits in the smoke for a few minutes, it gets really dark and nice. You want to make sure that you get both sides of this turkey and then try to get it as even as you possibly can. Then we're going to let it shut down for a few minutes until we get to the right internal temperature. Now 10 minutes later, as you guys can see, we are hitting right around that 175 degree mark. So we're just going to go ahead and pull it off, let it rest inside for a few minutes. And we're ready to eat. What's up you guys? We are finally back inside now. This cook took about a total of three hours, just a little bit over three hours to do. I ran it at 275 degrees the whole time using hickory. I know a lot of different people like to use different flavored pellets for different types of cooks, but me, honestly, I think I just bought do hickory and everything. I used to mix it up with some cherry here and there, but I love the flavor, taste of hickory. So we got this beautiful turkey drumstick here. None left for me to do other than to take a little bite. Here we go. Mm. Mm. I can't even begin to explain to you the different amounts of flavors that are going on here. The meat inside of here is super tendy. It has a nice salty flavor when you brine things. And then we have an immediate kick of that rub. That rub is great. It has a little bit of a spice to it with some of that cayenne that's in there. And I got a nice big bite. As you guys can see, it has some great smoke. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can see that outside has a nice pink hue to it. That's how you know you got some good smoke in, especially on poultry. When that first bite you take, some of that outside layer has a nice pink to it. This turkey turned out amazing. If you're doing this for the holidays or honestly just any time of the year, I think you're going to really please your guests with this recipe. I mean, you, you can't go wrong with the brine. It makes it juicy, adds a nice little bit of salt to it, makes it tender. Then you got that great smoke flavor in there with a little bit of that kick. But I like spicy turkey. I like spicy everything though. So 
doesn't surprise me, but the only thing that I would probably do different in the future is maybe cook it at a little bit higher of a temp uh, for the last of the cook, and then at the beginning of the cook, doing that uh, super smoke mode. Thinking to get a little bit more smoke flavor in here, and it'll give it a little bit of a longer time at like a higher heat. I think it could get the skin even a bit more crispy. If you guys like this turkey video and want to see one just like it with a different cut of turkey, you can go ahead and click this video right here. Hope you guys have had a great day, night, whatever time it was when you found this video, and I will see you in my next caveman big drumstick.